Hello friends, it is Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish, and yes, it is me. It is, I am recording this on Sunday evening. I have my complete doubts that you will see this Sunday evening because um, it'll take a while for it to upload and for me to edit it, but I'm going to attempt to do some savings challenges and um, I'm just going to do a, a mishmash of things. Um, but I wanted to talk to you first uh, about what's been going on. Um, as many of you know, my husband is has been in the hospital since Monday and um, well, on Monday, we went to the ER, spent the whole day and evening in the ER because his cancer doctor, his oncologist, um, sent us there because the, the um, lesions in his leg bone, his, the big thigh bone, um, had eaten away at the bone, and it was in... It, it could snap and break at any time. <clears throat> and the oncologist was very concerned about that and so sent us to the ER. Uh, we, Like I said, we spent the whole day and much of the evening in the ER only to be told by the doctor there that because it hadn't broken yet, it wasn't emergent and to come back if it breaks. Yep, honestly, that's what we heard. They gave him a set of crutches, which I questioned because he also has a um, tumor on his lung that has um, pushed on his right rib and has fractured it. And so, of course, crutches would come right up to about where that is on his side. And I questioned it. And the doctor said, no, the crutches are the best thing. Um, so, you know, of course we paid for said crutches. They did not just give them to us. I'm sure, you know, our insurance, they might not have paid. We might have to pay them out of pocket. I don't know. Um, and also, um, while we were in the ER, his blood work was lost. It actually got stuck in the tube that it gets sent through. And um, the nurse found out about it. I overheard her talking about it. She never told us. And we waited an extra three hours for a new, for new blood work to come back. Um, and so in the end, I did uh, tell the doctor that we were upset about that. Not that the blood got lost or that it was stuck in the tube, but that Nobody communicated that with us. Uh, so we came home and, um, you know, basically my husband said, I will never go back to the ER again. And which is very sad because we'd been trying to encourage him to go to the ER because of the amount of pain he is in. Um, we believe he has... Well, we know it's stage four lung cancer um, with uh, metastatic carcinoma to the bones, which means it has gone into the bones. And what we don't know is where did it originate? Did it originate in the lungs or is it somewhere else in the body that we haven't found yet? Uh, so... And the biopsy that was done on his sacrum bone um, was non-viable. So we still didn't have answers to that. But anyway, the next day, Tuesday, we went to the oncologist and she was furious. You could tell. She's just this little woman, um, Asian woman, spitfire. Um, we really like her. Um, 
and she she was very upset that one that the ER had sent us home and two that they called it non-emergent because if the bone did indeed break it, you know all bets are off as far as being able to treat him for the cancers because he would be in rehab for so long um so she said um our goal here today is to get you admitted into the hospital. So that's what happened. It took all day. We finally got in a room at, I don't even remember what time it was. I think it was almost 10 o'clock at night. Um, we had wonderful care while we were there. We had a nurse that we have adopted as one of our own. Um, she was amazing. She one of there were two goals for him in the hospital one was to get that um leg bone stabilized with surgery and the other was to get his pain levels down to a manageable amount um because bone cancer is extremely painful and a rib that's fractured by a tumor is very painful um, and my husband doesn't complain, but he will tell you his pain is a 10. Um, and you can see it in his face and the way he moves, but he doesn't talk about it. So this nurse was, I mean, we had great care from all of them. And uh, the doctors, the uh, orthopedic surgeon, the um physical therapy person, the, you know, everyone was wonderful. Our roommate was a 96 year old man and um, who's been married 72 years to uh, his 90 year old wife, you know? I mean, so it was, I, I always say when you meet, we had a horrible nurse in the emergency room and I hate to say that, but she was. And, you know, the only reason why I said very little about it while we were there was because I have no idea what she went through before she got to work that day. And so I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But I also think that there's a point where you have to leave that at the door and take care of business. And that wasn't happening. So, um... But for every one person you meet like that, I feel like you meet, we met two dozen people who were helpers, who were kind, who were uh, considerate, um, who wanted to make things better for us. So, uh, yeah, so we've been in the hospital since... Tuesday, you know, we went, we were there all day Monday, but he was finally admitted Tuesday night. He did have the surgery on his leg. There's a titanium nail in his leg from the hip bone down to the top of the knee. There are screws that hold that in place. Um, that orthopedic surgeon said it could, it's very possible the leg will still break. The bone will still break because it's very disintegrated from the cancer. But that it won't be as painful of a situation because the nail that's down through the leg bone, it's through the leg bone, will support everything if something happens. Um, he did have a biopsy while they were in there. We don't have the results of that yet. Um... And we did get his pain levels down. When we came home last night, it, his pain levels were sky high again. Um, I tend to try to remain cool in situations, but I will admit I had three meltdowns from the time we left the hospital to the time we went to bed last night. And um, I really thought my husband might say, yeah, maybe I'd be better off in the hospital um, because I was the, quite a, you know, I just had a hard time with, they had sent home the wrong medication list and I realized it, thankfully. 
and called our oncology our oncologist center and talked to the on-call person and they helped me straighten it out but had I not noticed that I would have he would have gotten the wrong medications and so um yeah it's been a week we we regrouped this morning we had um uh some time to sleep in a little bit. I didn't get up until 8.30. I'd been getting up at quarter of six every morning to get up to the hospital. Uh, not getting home until 10 or 11 some nights. So we were tired and he did not sleep last night. Um, but like I said, we regrouped. We had uh, family um, come this morning that helped us do some things. Um, our house is in disarray because he has to use a walker and we had a lot of stuff in the way of using a walker so it's just pushed up against walls and stuff right now and um we so we had some help getting some things done that we needed to get done my sister bought us a lawnmower and that made me cry and my grandson said, Mimi, are you crying about a lawnmower? And, um, you know, it's hard to explain to a nine-year-old that it's so much more than a lawnmower. And um, we came up with a plan to get us our groceries in for the week. Um, my sister and my mom did a bunch of stuff around the house. Uh, Scott's, a couple of Scott's brothers came to visit and... Then we had a little bit of quiet time and then my son and his girlfriend came over for dinner and we got a few more things done. So he is now resting, watching TV and in, in bed and I am here and I wanted to update you and more than that, I wanted to say thank you so very much for, sorry, for all the kindness, the kind words, the emails that I've been getting, um, the messages on Etsy, um, the message, the comments here, and the kindness from people that I didn't even know until when I started doing this in March. And um, every single kind comment means so much to me. I mean, I read all your comments. I try to comment on all your comments. I was a little delayed this week. Um, I didn't get my Etsy orders out like they were supposed to this week. I talked to everybody that had orders that was supposed to go out. And they were very kind. And I'm going to work on them tomorrow we hopefully have home health care coming in to help us out a little bit with um you know just navigating all of this i'm sure we'll start getting appointments for treatment they they want to do radiation on his leg they want to start chemo for the cancers but we don't know they still don't know what kind of chemos because they still need to have more of an idea of what where this cancer originated. Um, most likely the lung, but you know they have to be more sure than most likely. He has not been given a good prognosis. We were told that without treatment he would have just a couple of months with treatment. We might have six months to a year. But we were also told he's not date stamped and that people beat those statistics all the time. So that's where we're at, guys. And I really wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for just being there through this. And I know that for some of you, it's a trigger because you've been through these things. And I mean, so have I. I. I lost my dad to esophageal cancer um, 
a few years ago. So, excuse me, I have to blow my nose. Um, so, I need to regroup and restart. And I don't really know how or uh, what I'm going to do. But I thought I have... Um, money from my Etsy shops uh, paychecks and I thought I might do some um, some Christmas savings and some household savings I was going to start some Christmas of these but I want to put a binder together these are so I want to start the Santa game and the um, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings one from It's a Wonderful Life. Um, whoops, these are ones. I'm not starting these ones. These are ones from last week. I thought I would pulled out Christmas ones, guys. Um, so yeah, there's this one that I thought I might do and this one and then the uh, it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown I want to get started on and so seasonal ones that's what I'm trying to think of seasonal and holiday ones falling for savings but I was going to start those tonight and I think I'm going to hold off on those um, but let's go past um, the whole health thing. And this gives me, you know, a half hour of time where I don't have to think or talk about cancer, right? So that's, you know, I'm here and I want to do some fun things with you guys. So let's just start. <laughs> Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you guys, I know I just recently did a, um, organizing video, but I got to do it all over again. This is terrible. It's time again. Let's see what we have. We have some big bills, but I think it will be all right. 20, 40, 60. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five, seventy. Boy, I have really missed this, you guys. Really missed this. Um, one, two, I'm looking for D bucks while I do this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Hey guys, what was the um, buck that I can't find? Was it C? Because look what I just found. So I'm going to put that in there, even though I'm not doing those tonight. And then this should be 25 in here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It's another C. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Well, that's a lucky thing, isn't it? Because I haven't been able to find any C's. 
So this is two hundred and twelve dollars. Um, it is from my paycheck. And whoops. Um, oh, this paperwork reminds me we're into August, aren't we? Wow, this whole life has two hundred and twelve work paycheck. Um, this reminds me so the winners of the giveaway. Let me see if I can. All these people. Oh, Tanya, I think I sent yours this morning. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, all these people were the winners. And, you know, I haven't heard from Angie Corkill. Corkill? Um, she won the goodie box of items. Haven't heard from her. And Rebecca Sage won the Savings Challenge book. Haven't heard from her either. So I think if I don't hear from them um, by the end of this week, I'm going to draw new names from the comments that we had. So if you know either one of these, have them check in with that giveaway video. All right. Okay. Let's take care of these D's first. I don't know how far we'll go with this tonight, guys. I just wanted to check in and, um, you know, let you know. Whoops. I still haven't done these envelopes yet. I don't know. Been kind of busy, I guess. Um, so I'm going to just go for a little bit. So I've been talking for 22 minutes, you guys. I know you like long videos, but still, you know, uh, it might be too long. One, two, three, four, five D bucks. I'm getting close. One, two, three, four, five. So I understand that there's some happy mail at my post office box, but I have not been there all week. Uh, I haven't been there since last Saturday, so over a week ago, because it's in the opposite direction of the hospital. Um, we were on the uh, cancer care oncology floor, um, and they do allow you to stay overnight which I learned pretty quickly because I'm kind of a mama bear. And, um, but I, I did not because I had dogs at home. And I also, you know, we just decided that I have to find my binder. So I'm gonna keep talking, but I'm gonna walk away for a minute. We just decided that uh, Scott would get better sleep if I wasn't hovering, although I was the one that used that terminology, not him, um, at nighttime. So I left the hospital by, usually by nine, sometimes closer to 10, um, because he was in a lot of pain a couple of nights. And so I stayed until, uh, he was more settled. Oh, those are the steps. I, I'm going to do those, guys. Heading towards monetization. That's not it either. That's home. <clears throat> oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I told you I need to organize... All right, we gotta walk away again. I found them. Oh, also, I did get my up binder in the mail, and I am going to 
I'll show that in a video. I want to create some uh, savings challenges for it first. So I, I will do that in a video coming up. Um, tomorrow is Monday. Chances of me getting an Etsy shop drop up might be very slim, but I will, as long as things go smoother this week, I will get one up. Um, hopefully maybe by Tuesday, but don't quote me on that. You know? <laughs> But I know you guys are very patient, but I also have gotten a lot of emails from people that, uh, emails and messages from people that say that they have missed me. And uh, I got a really nice note from uh, someone who will know who it is when I say this, but said, you know, they felt like there was something missing uh, without my videos. So... And I get that, I do. And I need this as much as you guys need uh, this, you know? I mean, it's it's helpful, it keeps me uh, a little bit focused on something else at times. So, I still have a long list of I found three C bucks, you guys. Remember, I haven't been able to find any, so this is great. Um, I ha still have my very long list of things that people would like, and I haven't forgotten you, I promise. Okay, so um, one thing I want to do now, this has nothing to do with um work money usually but i do want to play one game of shut the box because i didn't finish last month's shut the box and so i thought if i oh two games i thought if i did it i would have that done because i'm trying to fill the page in every month so this is is income from last month so that will work good I need yellow and I need blue. And I need two dice. Okay. Let's see. Now you might have to help me through this, you guys, because my brain is a little bit fogged these days. I'm really anxious to get jammies on and go to bed tonight. Okay, so a five and a six is 11. So we'll do a nine. Ten, 11. That's a good start. How is everyone? Five and a one is six. Um, I'm interested to hear what you're saving for right now, um, whether it's something that is a need or a want. We ta I talked about that in one of my last videos. Ooh, six and six is 12, so we can do eight and four. Um, so I am now in more of the saving for needs because we don't know financially how this is going to affect us um you know insurance is a tough thing to navigate three and two is five so i am kind of changing things up um I'm not going to Disney in October, but hopefully may go in April. You know, we just got to kind of see how, where we're at, how things are going. Um, and so I need to uh, focus more on things that are coming up right now. For instance, the holidays. Four and one is, ooh, five. There's a one bummer. 
7, 10, 11. I didn't uh, total that one up. I'd say it's 9. Okay, so 11. One more, guys. You didn't know you were going to get a shut the box game tonight, did you? A four and a four is an eight. Yeah, I thought I could do this and then wipe it off because um, I'll be doing <clears throat> games and savings challenges uh, for this month, for August. Six and one is seven. And uh, um, plus, I want to pull the money from the finished games and challenges to uh, do some uh, stuff on work, housework and stuff, um, house renovations and such. Three and one is four. Uh, my deck is done. I think that you already knew that. And it's beautiful. There's still some things that need to be done. We need a gate to keep the dogs. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, I can still do four, can't I? Phew. Um, we sat out on it tonight, my son and his girlfriend and Scott and I, and enjoyed it. And Scott is very glad that I pushed him to do the deck. Uh, and I think we'll get some enjoyment out of it when we can. Six and two is eight. Um, it is supposed to rain for the next three days. Come on, guys. They got to stop that. The whole time I've been in the hospital with Scott, the weather's been great. Now it's going to rain. Okay, I need a nine. 10, 11, 12. I need a nine or a five. Five. Do you think I could get a nine? You guys, am I going to shut the box? Let's see. I'm going to shut the box. Ten. Bummer. Close. Close. Close, but no cigar. Do you, did you ever hear that saying? Close, but no cigar. Or close, but no wheel. I don't know exactly what that means, but... All right, so nine would be... We're going to do an even 20 in here. See, I knew that these big bills would be all right. So, for this month in Shut the Box, we did... Remember, I had to um, do a little uh, low budgeting on a couple of the games the last time. I still need a shut the box envelope. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 107. That would be great. All right. Now. Let's get down to business. We're going to do some savings for Christmas. And I don't believe I have any Christmas ones in here. No. Okay, so the only one left in here that I might do is... Oh, nope. Um, we are at like 805 subscribers. We're getting close to a thousand, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five uh, to make it eight hundred. And remember, I'm only doing a dollar a a ten a square here, a dollar instead of five anymore. But we did um, one, two, three, four, five. We did, oh, I should just take a five. We got to 800. And in the beginning, I was doing $5 for each box. So there's quite a bit of money saved up for this. And I wanted to do that one because 
Is it in here? Nope, this is the games. Right here. Is it in here? No. It is in this one. Um, and then the other thing I need to do is the steps for June and the steps for July. I'll have to do one at a time because I think June it was like $70, so which is great. All right, monetization. We have this stuffed away in savings. 100, 200, 250, 300. I know that's 300. 305, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, so I am going to take some money out of this and put it in my uh, business account because I am spending a little bit of money for the giveaways. And so I want to make sure I pay for that, those things that I'm sending out. All right, so that can go away too. The only other thing I might use in this one is the up one, which I, next time I video, I'll have to show you my Lego up house. So I ordered it and my grandson put it together for me and it is adorable. I don't do Legos, but he does. All right, we're gonna start right here. And what we have been doing is each one is $2. So we're going to do three, which makes six dollars. Now these are in my shop. Uh, these books. And they are available. They take a little bit of time to ship out because I don't have any made in stock right now. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's do this. Let's put a 20 in there. 21, 22, 23. So, $28 in Christmas already. Each tree I made worth $2. It's got the little envelope. And then we have a... I didn't do this scratch off yet. Um, we have this scratch off, which I don't know what happened. One of these got stuck. Oh, I remember. This was a blooper one. That's why I kept it for myself. Um, so, let's see. Let's see what we're going to do here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I love scratch-offs. I've got some other scratch-offs I want to do, too. Okay. Five dollars. We can do one more, I think. I don't remember what these numbers are underneath this. I do know that it totals 120 when it's done. Two, three, four, five, six. This little tool I'm using is for manicures. I found it on Amazon. And I love it. So another five dollars. So that's gonna be a ten in there. And let's see what we've got in here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's put the, that in there and take that 20. So 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I'm getting there. Okay, so I haven't started any of these other ones yet um, for Christmas. I, I will, though, but I, I, wa I want to play the game tonight. I'm starting at uh, start because I got sent back to start the last time we played. If you remember that. Five. Um, start is a dollar on this one. One, two, uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, two dollars. I'll just play for a little bit. Five, two, three, four, five. Oh, ten dollars. Maybe I won't play for that long. Um, I'm excited to play this Christmas game that I uh, made. It was Etsy Shop Drop two weeks ago. I haven't played this yet. Has anyone played this yet? I know a lot of people have purchased it. Um, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't know if you landed on every space how much this is going to total for you. Um, because I just play the game over and over again, pretty much. So that's what I've been doing with this one. Although the next time I start it, I might start coloring in the blocks just for the fun of it. So two, one, two. Wrapped up in str a string of lights, return to start. So it's $2 plus a dollar for start. Let's play one more thing, one more time. Three. One, two, three, eight dollars. Five, let's see. Let's put two back in and take a 10. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits on that one. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I don't even know what's in here yet. This is all gonna go to Christmas. Or the holidays, you know. <clears throat> I mean, there's so many, there's so much in there. There's Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Um, so it'll just go during those times. We do a lot of family meals and stuff. And, of course, gifts and all that stuff, too. So every little bit will help. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74 dollars. Okay, you guys, this is a 42 minute long video. Now, I know a lot of you like the long videos. If you don't like the long video, pause it and watch the second half later. How's that sound? And um, if you do like the long videos, Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad. I I did want to... Mm. So that was... A, let's see. I wanted to do a couple of scratch-offs. So this was um, sent to me from Barbie's Budgeting. And I can't remember I think she might have sent me a um, a thing for it too uh, dashboard maybe an envelope I'll have to look because they're right here um, we'll we'll see but I did want to start this one and I don't, it totals 150, so I think it might be larger numbers. One, two, three. It's a cute rhino. Rhino or hippo. Oh yeah, see that's already $10. I don't know what I'm gonna be using this for. I am trying to get better at that, deciding what I'm gonna use um, these things for. So Barbie's Budgeting sent me this. Uh, it just says Happy Mail. She sent me a, a bunch of games and, and scratch-offs and stu such. Um, I showed them in one of my videos. So I, I just thought I would do this one, and we'll see what I decide to do with the money from it. Uh, but $10. We're going to paper clip it for now, and then I'll look and see um, if uh, if there was a dashboard or an envelope that went with this. And if not, I'll, I think I might choose to put, I have a lot of little different uh, scratch-offs from people right now that people have just sweetly sent me them. Uh, as happy mail so 
I may just put them all in one envelope and just save the money that way. And then the other thing I wanted to do was a couple of my scratch-offs. I'm sort of trying to do the Christmassy theme, so let's do a frozen one. Now, I know that's not Christmas, you guys, but it is wintry and stuff. So um, this is one that I made. It's up in my shop that you can get. One, two, three, four. It's um, $100 is the savings. And I have no idea what's under these. So this one's 15. Whoa. That's all we're going to do on this one, too. This, um, wait, is it? Yep, it's 15. And they've got snowflakes underneath them, too. So when you're done with this, you could potentially either put new scratch-offs stickers on top of it and use it again. Or you could just use it as a regular savings challenge. I was just cleaning those up. So, 15. 5, 10, 15. This one should have 30, 40 dollars in it. Ooh. So that's 20. Now, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Perfect. Um, I am going to do some consolidating and some depositing also. So stay tuned for that. So I think what will happen is as I finish any of my Christmas uh, or seasonal challenges, they'll all go in one savings account um, to use... As I go on now, I've, I've started this one, but I was thinking I might do uh, my Cindy Lou Who one because that's Christmassy or the um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I also have these from Cindy Cat and... Um, Ren from Mischief Managed. So I have, but they're not Christmassy, and I want to do holiday ones right now. So I'm going to start this one because I do like scratch offs. Now, in that book, in that Christmas book, there is uh, also, see, I told you guys I need to organize. In the Christmas book, there's also a uh, Cindy Lou Who one. So I made it very similar to this one. And uh, these have been out in my shop for quite a long time now. So let's see. This one is going to save $72 when it's done. One, two, three. Boy, I'm hitting big ones. $16, you guys. And if you hadn't uh, since I haven't scratched one of these off, if you haven't purchased this, you wouldn't know. But underneath these is an ornament underneath each one. Wow, how did I get $16 right off the start here? That's crazy. Okay. 5, 10, 15. Sixteen, and I'm just going to put that in the envelope with the scratch off. I don't dare do another one. I think that's the highest one, though. I don't laminate these. I send them out unlaminated. However, if you wanted it laminated for some reason, you could certainly ask me. And there's a, little, a small fee to laminate things, but. It is doable. Okay. Now, with the rest of what I have, I'm going to do some of these. And I think... Oh, I remember. So this was... I shook the dice. What dice did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I used the 12 sided dice. Do you guys remember? Pretty sure that's what I did. That's not 12 sided. That's not. Right there. Yep, I'm pretty sure I used the 12 sided dice on this one. Okay. So six. Uh, yeah, so tell me, how are you guys? What have you been up to? Um, I would love to hear some of your goings on. And like I said, what you are um, saving for. So I'm just, I'm rolling the dice. I'm going to write this on here. 12 sided dice and just letting it dictate what, how much I'm putting in the envelope. So this is six. Um, so, you know, there's still, uh, we really needed a barbecue for our deck and I'll, um, I'll tell you why we, have as as a lot of you know we have Sunday family time and we usually have a meal and my son-in-law is a barbecue wizard and um, we were not able to do that anymore because we're not going we're not going to their house it's too hard on my husband four so I'm gonna put a five in take a one out so I had put on my Facebook page, uh, did anyone have a barbecue grill that they would like to sell? Um, it, I didn't, we didn't need anything fancy. Um, we didn't want anything expensive. We wanted something that was in good shape and could be used, you know, right away. And um, my, a very good friend of mine and a college buddy we met in college messaged me and said I really want to gift a barbecue grill to you and your family she said I've been watching your Facebook page for all these years and watching your family time that you have and I want to help with that so, I mean, who knew, that's a dollar, who knew that a barbecue grill could make me cry, but it did. And she gifted us a barbecue grill. It came while we were in the hospital. My son-in-law put it together and we, we couldn't use it today because we couldn't get together as a total family at any time this is going to be four so uh but it's ready for next sunday when we have our family time so i am just so it's going to be five i'm just overwhelmed by the kindness that people have shown us five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 14, 15, 16. So it, that's exciting. We now have a grill on our deck. It's all put together and ready to go. Um, we do want a, this sound, this is a, want, a need, a no, a want to you guys. And um, I had been saving up for it in the um, household renovations for the deck and but I don't have enough money yet for it but on Sunday nights we would always have a fire my um, daughter and son-in-law have a fire pit that my son and son-in-law built and of course we don't do that now <clears throat> and so I want to get I want you see I know it's not a need I want to get a fire pit 
one of those um, that you can safely have on your deck or, um, you know, we would put it on the platform that's on the ground, but um, a propane one so that I can start it myself. You know, we the one that we had uh, at my daughter's is a wood one. You know, you put wood in, you start the fire. And I would never be able to do that, nor would I feel comfortable doing that. But um, I'm in hopes of doing that so that as we move into the end of summer here and into fall, we could have some Sunday night fires for... Ah, oh, see, I get so emotional about these things. Because they've always been special to us. So we don't need them. Um, but, oh look, I was going to count this. But uh, I haven't even put any money in yet. Um, but it is a want. And so <clears throat> I'm going to be looking at that and um, seeing how much money I need to save up to do that. Seven times five is 35, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And we'll do seven of these. This is for my Disney credit card payments. It is actually all paid off right now, but um, I do like to have did I start here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I do like to have a buffer to put in if need be. So this is Minnie and Mickey. Th this was a set, by the way, in this binder of eight wants and needs savings challenges. That's why I brought that up. Uh, I made each one of these $5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, see, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So anyway, I, I am in hopes of getting one of those uh, somehow in the next couple of weeks. We do feel like time is not on our side, although my husband and I are believers in miracles and in um, beating the odds. So, you know, there's that. Okay, so enough about the fire pit. These are each $3 each, and we need eight of them. Three times eight, is that 24, you guys? <laughs> 24, yeah. Um, I'm not good at math lately. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 23, 24. So, the other thing is, is this is for school shopping for my grandson, and... Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. I I don't know that I'll be able to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I did tell my daughter maybe I could do the lunch part of it. You know, we go out to lunch and then we go shopping. And maybe we could do the lunch part and go shopping for his backpack and lunch box. <laughs> first and then they could go on from there to do the school shopping uh, but again it all depends on what's going on right so I'm trying to save $150 I don't think I'll need that much but I do like to get his backpack and his lunchbox and his water bottle so that one's school shopping now I've got a runny nose, you guys. You've made me cry tonight. I'm glad that I was able to come on tonight, and I hope that I didn't overwhelm you with my story of hospitals and emergency rooms. This is savings, um, and we just I just decided that I would shake the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
10, 11, 12, and put in whatever it said. So there's that. This one's 12. So I have no idea how much will be in here when I'm done. This is Mickey's hand holding a money bag and handing out money, and then Scrooge McDuck and Donald down there. And guys, I've only got one, two more dollars left. What do you think I should do? So the birthday one. Oh, actually, I could do the birthday one, or I could do the up one. I think I'll do the birthday one. And I'm hoping that one of the next videos I do is an organizing and cleaning up one. I know you guys like those. And I think it sorts out my head. Oh, yeah, I have the little savings Christmas one like that. So I might not need to do both of the big ones. So the birthday one, I'm going to just add. Usually I shake the dice and add that to it. Um... And this is going to take forever to actually add up any money, but oh, that doesn't write. I'm going to do $2 because that's what we have left. Wow, you guys, this was good. This was a lot of different things. You know, not finishing anything, but I mean, obviously, this was starting a lot of new stuff, right? So, all right. I am done. Done, done, done. I am curious, because I was talking about the fire pit. Do you guys, I, I mean, I sort of think that I originally finished that um, challenge for, okay, there's saving for my garden deck renovation yeah that's the one that I have okay all right that's gonna help me I'm going to talk about all of that in another video what I'm going to be doing with this too so thank you guys so much for being here for listening to me for sending me good wishes for the happy ma mail that I hope that I get to pick up tomorrow um, for just being here. I will continue to keep you updated and I will come back and do challenges as often as possible. And I'm going to go get my jammies on and sit in my rocking chair. Thank you. I love you all. Um, continue to spread a little joy in somebody's life. You've definitely done that for me. And happy savings. I'll see you real soon. Bye.